Hi right, folks, Dave at Creative Craft Towns to show you our baseball uh, parlor game or the parlor baseball game. Uh, it's a historical item and um, some of you who are familiar with what we do know I love doing historical stuff. Ciphers, um, games, uh, puzzles, magic items, uh, just bringing back things that may not have been seen for a number of generations and this is one of them. In fact, there are very few uh, survivors, and the ones that exist are apparently worth quite a lot of money. I've reproduced this thing, and it has exactly the same look of the original, and the same size. Um, they use kind of this dark wood. Now, they used ink, but I uh, laser engraved this, so this is uh, never coming out. It's, uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite beautiful. Uh, and there's little holes here for pegs. Um, we made this Essentially, this is a works as a cover. Uh, when you want to put it away, just fold this over, and you've got this beautiful box that we made. It will protect the board and will also hold the playing pieces. Now let's go over how the game is played. I also um, got the original rule set, and for the most part, didn't change too much when I printed it out. I, 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 changed a little bit of the English uh, to make things a little bit clearer and I took out some of the introductory stuff because apparently back then not everybody was familiar with baseball and they've had some really basic stuff about the game that I didn't think was needed. But the rules are, other than that, the rules are um, as they were originally written. I did make a special dice. It's a little, it's a laser engraved nice dice, kind of nice. Um, and you see it's got single, double, triple, home run, and then it's got two out positions. Now, playing the game is probably going to be fairly obvious. Um, you have uh, a, a red team and a blue team. Now, I will say that I can custom make this. If you wanted a particular home team, um, you, you know, uh, the Cleveland Indians or whatever, you want. I can do that. There's an extra charge for it, uh, but it can be done and you can have a home team and then you know the visitors or you could define the two teams however you want to do it. But this is the standard set. Now to, to play the game, um, you've got, I'm giving you 10 pegs of each color. They're pretty nice pegs. These are cribbage pegs we use. Um, and, but you don't need that many. You've got a few extras. The, uh, the right-hand columns here, or the column, the vertical columns here, one for red team, one for blue team, are for keeping score. It's a little bit confusing at first, but essentially the outside row is the, the units, digits. You start counting as you score runs. Now this would be a four. You could have scored a lot of runs in this game. They were looking for, I think, excitement as opposed to, uh, you know, pitcher's duels. This is a real batter's duel. So as you, uh, if you, if you had a ten, You'd move a peg over here and one here, and that would be one zero. You know, twenty-five would be twenty-five, and then as you score and you get up to here, you're going to move the decimal point uh, there. Okay, so that's once you understand that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got the baseball diamond here. We've got uh, home plate for the batter if red is up, um, and uh, men on first. You could have men first, second, third, of course, if the bases were loaded. Uh, you would. You have their outs pegged here, you know, one out, uh, two out, three out. Uh, you keep track of your innings up here. It's nine inning games, so as the innings progress, just move your peg to indicate uh, the inning. Um, of course, Blue's going to have their own men. And uh, just as in baseball, three outs per inning, um, nine, in nine innings per game, uh, highest score wins. Uh, you will get some big scores in this game. <laughs> because there's only two out position on, on the dice, but it get, makes it kind of fun. Now this was extremely popular, uh, so the literature says, uh, for about 10 years. It, it was made in 1903. The original cost was a, a dollar and a half. Uh, it didn't have this box or anything, um, but the, for the game board itself, it was a dollar and a half. Um, and I guess it was very popular, again, for about 10 years. So I hope it's something you can have some fun with. Uh, we've been messing with it here, and it's just, it is, uh, it, it, it is kind of addicting, and uh, it's just funny to see uh, all the scores you can, all the runs you can put up. Okay, thanks very much. Made right here in our Hudson, Florida shop, and hope it's something you can enjoy. The men will all come packed in this little or organza bag with the dice and be inside the playing board. Thanks very much.